Hi, this is John from Super Steer, and today we're going to show you how to do an install on an SS100 bell crank. This is a comparison between the stock OEM bell crank versus our SS100 bell crank. Uh, you'll find these mounted on the driver's side frame rail on the Freightliner XC chassis and also the Magnum chassis as well. This is an original style bell crank and showing you this cutaway what we have is a flat pin with flat bushings which can give you some play and also we've got a step in this shaft where it's a steel shaft up against the cast iron housing which sometimes can cause binding there they can get very tight so what we've done is we've redesigned this with the tapered roller bearing so we can take the play out and it will still turn nice and free so we don't have any up and down play or side play yet it turns nice and free if it ever does get anywhere it's just a matter of removing the bell crank from the frame pulling this cap off and we've got a nut and cotter pin there you can adjust it just like you would a wheel bearing on a car this is going to try to turn so you're going to watch for side to side movement in this part I can actually just grab this one and pull up and down on it. You can see the side movement. And a lot of times, because these parts are very tight, it'll actually break loose on the taper. The shaft will be sitting still and the arm will just be pivoting and that can actually put some wear on that arm. So uh, what we would do typically also is we'll go ahead and pull this loose and we'll let the customer, when they come in the shop, once we get this arm off, let him try to turn this shaft. And a lot of times they're so tight you can't even hardly turn them by hand. But I'm going to remove this inch and a half nut. I'm going to leave it flush with the end of the shaft. Now we've made a puller especially for these, uh, for the shops and mechanics out there, that fits this arm. Uh, if you don't have a puller, you can carefully tap on the side of this arm and it'll break that taper loose. Let's go ahead and use the puller on it since we have the puller. Now normally you would have your steering linkage, your drag links hooked up here so you would just pull this out of the way and let it hang. Now on the frame rail it's attached with three bolts. They're a half inch bolt so we'll go ahead and remove those. Okay so there's the original bell crank removed. This one is pretty tight. And that's pretty typical. It's really bound up. You want these steering pieces to turn fairly freely. So here's our new SS100 bell crank and with our instructions we've got the torque specifications. Make sure our surface is clean. Go ahead and insert our mounting bolts. Okay, so we'll go ahead and snug these down. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and check the torque on these mounting bolts. They should be about 95 foot-pounds. So now we're ready to put our arm back on. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and torque the large nut that holds the arm on, and it should be anywhere from 150 to 225 foot-pounds. You'll notice that there's two sets of holes in here. On different chassis, you'll have different thickness arms, so this outer hole will work on some. This one we're going to use this inner hole. We want to keep it in nice and tight where the nut can't turn. You never want to back the nut off to align the cotter pin. You always want to go to the next forward hole. So now it'll turn nice and free. You won't have any play in it. It's nice and solid. And that completes the installation on the SS100 bell crank. Thank you for your time. It's John at Supersteer.